So I am so glad that you're here. I'm so glad I'm here. Um, I'm Kelly with Captiva Home and today we're going to paint this beauty behind me and I'm going to tell you all about General Finishes Milk Paint because it is just incredible. Um, so let me know um, if you can hear me, give me a like, give me, say hello. Um, I'd love to learn about you and whether you've used this paint before. It is a favorite of ours. Um, we are retailers for General Finishes and have a whole bunch right behind me. So it is really easy to work with and I'm going to show you as I paint this piece. So today I'm working with one of the more vibrant colors. So this is emerald and it is pretty green. Hey, thanks so much for joining me. Um, I'm so glad that you're here. So say hi, let me know what you're um, thinking and give me a like if you can hear me and we'll keep going. So we're using emerald and I felt like it was a little bold for this piece. So I thought that would be pretty colorful. Um, so I wanted to tone that down a little and then we're gonna do a little bit of shading and blending and gradiating. We might do some metallics. We'll kind of see where it goes. Um, but this is the Handy General Finishes Milk Paint Milk Deck. And this actually shows you a whole bunch of different ways that you can mix it, whether you're lighting, lightening the color or darkening it. So it gives you a good idea of where the color is going to land. So this, I felt like was pretty bold. Let's see if we can keep that. Um, so I actually have opted, I did a little bit of mixing and we're gonna go down in between these two colors. So this is emerald and then mixed with some black. And I didn't do it quite that dark, and we landed in this really pretty hunter green color. And I think that's gonna work nicely for this piece. So this is a color. Uh, it is a mix of emerald and lamp black. So lamp black is um, general finishes true black. So it is black, um, which is great because sometimes that can be a challenge to get a really deep dark black, um, and this one is. So one of the reasons so we'll start painting. Um, so I'm gonna start with the drawer. I've already primed it, prepped it. Um, it's ready to go. And I'm also using my Klingon brush. So these are fantastic. This is a Klingon F, no, nope, S50. And we do have them in our shop. This is a, my favorite brush to work with because the General Finishes Milk Paint is acrylic. Uh, it's a water-based paint and it comes pre-mixed and everything. So right out of the can, you can start painting. You can even spray it right out of the can if you're into that. Um, but it's very nice because it self-levels and self-seals. So with the paint that self-levels and then using a Klingon brush that also helps you to self-level, so keep that, um, you get a really smooth finish. It almost looks sprayed, but it's not. So I know a lot of you are kind of DIY um, like homeowners or um, you're starting a business, maybe. Uh, let me know, are you, what's your experience level? And what kind of things do you like in a paint? I would love to know that too. Um, but sometimes spraying can be a challenge for folks. So I love that this paint and brush um, will combine to let you get a really smooth finish that looks sprayed, but doesn't have all of the, whoop, um, and I just made a mess. I never do that. Um, it's not as hard to achieve. Uh, sometimes spraying can be a challenge. Sometimes talking and painting can be a challenge. So that's just the way it goes. So anyway, I'm Kelly with Captiva Home. Um, I do a lot of painting. Um, I've actually been painting for 19 years. And now we do furniture painting. And it's really fun because it's super creative and you get to work with all these really fun finishes and fun products. And it's always different. So that, quick and easy, one coat, took me no time. Um, the reason that we're going with this green color, because sometimes your piece tells you what it needs to be. So in this case, uh, I was actually gonna do like, I was kinda thinking some blues maybe. But then I opened up this drawer, and look at that. That is a, um, I don't even know what to call it, a rug um, that's not coming out of this. So we needed to pick a finish that was going to complement. So here we have some 
greens, um, beiges, and blacks. So that's what we're gonna work with because I'm not gonna fight it. So I do think this will be a fun green to work with. So that was my thought process. Um, when you're dealing with antique pieces, you never know exactly what's gonna happen with them. Um, this piece is from 1924. So that's pretty old. It was in okay condition, um, but not great. So it definitely needed a facelift. Um, this is not the way that it really looks. So this is actually after we have already prepped it and then um, used a primer to seal it again. Primer is not necessary for this paint, um, but we have done enough projects that we usually seal it to avoid any issues down the line. So I'm using, um, yeah, this, I mean, the sound is normal. I don't know, there's nothing different going on today. I am gonna get one of those little mics soon. So I'll try to speak up for you. Um, so I'm using Emerald by General Finishes and then I've mixed it with black to kind of tone it down a little. The emerald on its own is very vibrant. So it's very, very green, uh, which is not the green that I wanted to go with. So I'm just going around the edges and then I'll jump onto the piece in just a minute. So if you have questions, please let me know. Um, whether you are watching this on replay or um, if you're live now, I can respond, I'll get notified, and I'll be sure to help you with whatever you need. We are, as I said, um, General Finishes retailers. So we sell General Finishes products and ship quickly um, nationwide throughout, uh, throughout the United States. I know we have some people from international. And we offer milk paint, as you can see. Um, we also have, of course, the Java gel stain. Everybody likes that. Uh, we have pearl effects, which are metallics. So those are really fun to work with. And then also glazes and high performance top coat. So we offer all of those on our website at captivahomedecor.com, which is linked in the notes. And there is a free shipping offer. So if you go and order $100 or more, and that's of paint, brushes, or workshops, uh, not furniture, then you can get free shipping. So all you have to do is type in free ship and we'll send that to you for free shipping. Um, and then you can try these at home. So this is actually a great product to use on kitchen cabinets. It's very durable. Um, we're always pleasantly surprised how durable. Um, the other day my husband who works with me um, knocked a piece of furniture by accident and we thought for sure there'd be a damage and there wasn't. So that was nice to see. And it is very durable. There is a 30 day care time. So on its own, the milk paint is um, self leveling, self sealing, it's water based, and it has a medium level of durability and kind of a more satin shine or more matte. Um, so this is just the paint on its own. And then what we usually recommend is adding high performance top coat. And this is satin, so it's got a nice sheen. And then that gives you enhanced durability. So these things we like are not nice to. Um, I throw them around, I should probably be nicer to them. And they have held up fantastically over the course of our business. So we use them every day and I'm not very nice to them. And they still don't have any scratches. So this is kind of a funky thing I have it on today. I usually have my pieces perched more nicely. So give me a second to adjust this. All right. This is actually my painting cart down there. So that's not ideal, but work with what you have. So I'm going to start here and then I'll be around there in just a minute. And this paint is really nice to work with. It goes on super smooth. And when you use a Klingon brush, which both have self, um, help your paint to self level, it almost looks like you sprayed it. And this can be distressed. Um, you can also use glazes and all of those other fancy products that I have back here. 
Um, so you can build up some really interesting finishes. And they're all, almost all of the products are water-based, aside from the Java Gel Stain. That's about the only one that's uh, oil-based that we carry. So they can all be layered and mixed and create some really interesting finishes. Or you can just use them as is. So this is just a color and it will look really nice. Uh, the self-leveling, oh, do you know what that means? That just means that the brush strokes will level out as they dry. Um, it also has a long open time, which is why I'm not like super concerned about painting super fast. So, oh, open time means that it um, takes a little bit longer to dry. Everyone has different preferences. Um, I prefer a long open time and self-leveling because I don't want to see brush strokes and I don't want to be painting here and then come over here and by the time I get there have it be dried already. Um, I would prefer it to take a little bit longer so that I can put them exactly where I want it to be before it starts drying. So that's what I'm doing here. And thank you for joining. Um, I'm so glad to be here with you tonight. Um, it is Friday night. I don't have anything else to do. So, uh, so we are working on this project. And I do a lot of live painting on our page. So if you're not following us there yet, um, please do. So that is Captiva Home uh, Facebook.com slash Captiva Home. And we do projects live all the time. So every week, pretty much, um, I do a new project. So we haven't used this color yet. Can't see that. Um, but we do use a lot of different colors and finishes and I share the whole process live. So also, if you want to see the rest of this, that will happen on our page. Probably, oh, you can't see me. I'm sorry. So that'll probably be um, Sunday night. I haven't booked it yet, but I usually like to do Friday night and Sunday night, sometimes Wednesday night, uh, because those seem to work out well, and whatever, they just seem to work well. So I did see somebody asked about prepping a little while ago. Um, that is something that we go a little overboard on, uh, because, well, there's a few reasons. But I've been painting for a very long time, and I actually went to school for painting, um, and I learned it as a, I don't know, I just learned all the right ways to do it. So I learned the importance of prep work. So now we do a lot of prep. So with every piece, we clean it, um, we sand it, and then we typically seal. So this is actually has a coat of clear primer on it. And then we build our finish on top of that. So that way we try to avoid as many potential issues as possible. Um, most of the challenges that people face or like the yellowing of top coats or whatever, things that aren't bonded are typically um, because you kind of skipped a step in the prep work. So I know prep work's not fun, um, but it is essential. So that's my spiel. So yes, we did do some prep work. Um, you can, so someone's asking about applying over oil-based paint. As long as the paint is cured, you can paint on top of it. I would suggest, here's a problem. Um, when you're painting over someone else's finish, you don't know whether they prepped correctly. So if you're building on an unstable finish, your finish isn't gonna work either. Um, because if that fails down below, your finish on top is gonna fail as well. So you have to be kind of careful about painting on top of pieces that are already painted, um, but you can use this on top of an oil-based paint. So this is General Finishes Milk Paint. Today I am using Emerald. Oh. And then I um, combined it with Lamp Black. So that is these two colors um, by General Finishes to mix up kind of a hunter green. So the paint will dry slightly darker, and I think that's gonna be nice. 
we have a bit of a um, challenge with this piece because one of the drawers actually has a fixed, um, I don't even know what to call it, protective layer, uh, kind of looks like a little rug on the interior. So rather than trying to fight that, we are going to just use that as color inspiration. And that has some greens and blacks and beige colors. So that's what we're working with. So the handles on this are a nice pretty gold. Oh, they will be. Um, right now they are kind of dingy looking. And then I think we're gonna use some black glaze and possibly do some blending. I'm not totally sure what's gonna happen with it. Uh, this is just a piece that will be available for sale eventually, so, you know, I can do whatever I want. So sometimes pieces take a little bit of a different path than I originally considered. And this one, I don't have a huge game plan on, so we'll see. Let me know, what do you guys think should happen with it? Um, what would you do if you were painting this piece? I love to hear what other people's feedback uh, I think that's really interesting. And let me get down here before this gets too far. So let me know um, where are you watching from? What kind of questions do you have? Have you used General Finishes milk paint or General Finishes products before? Um, they're pretty well regarded in the furniture painting world. Um, so I think a lot of people have probably used it. Um, they are well known and they're actually a much smaller company than I figured so there's only about like 30 employees so I always like working with small brands um, small companies we are a small business based in Berlin Massachusetts which is just a tiny little town this is perched up here a little bit less than ideally, so I'm trying to be careful here. So this, I know people are asking about the brush, I will show you in just a moment, because this is the best brush ever. Um, I, I love it. So I will show you in just a second. Whenever you're painting, you always wanna to get to a nice stopping point rather than um, stop in like the middle of a brush stroke or the middle of a panel. Because then you can have like, um, like if you just paint up to here and then walk away, you might see that brush strokes later on. So always wanna get to a stopping point and then chat. So this is a Klingon brush. Uh, it is the S50, so it is a short, shorty, that's what everyone calls them, um, brush. And it has synthetic bristles. So these are fantastic because they actually are used wet and then also are stored wet, which is kind of odd. Um, but they work to self-clean themselves and they actually will suck up water and then pull it back down. So a lot of the gunk that typically accumulates um, in the middle of your brush, if you've used it for a while, you know how it starts to like spray out, um, that is avoided with these. So because it's self-cleaning, it's constantly like sucking up and pulling out those little bits of paint that would accumulate over time. These are good for any water-based finish. Um, and then since they are used wet, you can spray them down if you need it to be a little more wet. If you want to loosen up your paint a little bit, um, you could spritz the piece and then do that. Um, right now my brush is pretty wet, so I'm not going to demo that yet but I'm sure you'll see what happens. Uh, we are general, uh, general Finishes and Klingon Retailers, so we do have these available on our site, and we have the S50s, 50s in stock, which is kind of odd. Um, they are super popular and hard to get a hold of. So if you want one, or you wanna try it, I would suggest ordering one soon um, because right now we have them, but we never know how long that will be or how long until it, um, we get another shipment. They're actually imported from Denmark, so they're a little bit tricky, but I love them. 
Um, like I said, I used to, I was a painter. Um, I used to do house painting, interior, exterior. Um, I did a lot of like, we flipped a couple homes, so we did a lot of painting there. And I always swore by Purdy brushes and Worcester brushes. I loved them, I thought they were great. Um, so it took me a long time to actually try these. And then I finally did, and they're fantastic. They do live up to the hype, they're great. Um, they make your painting look like a pro, um, even if you're just kind of a regular painter. So they're really incredible. You can use them with any water-based paint or top coat. So a lot of people ask whether you can use them with the Journal Finishes um, high performance top coat, and you can, definitely. Um, it will help your top coat level out nicely um, because the water is going to be, they'll be helping each other. And then this is almost the end over here. So we do not ship to Australia. Um, I don't know how. Eventually we'll probably have to figure that out. Um, but at this point, we are shipping nationwide within the United States from CaptivaHomeDecor.com, Captiva Home. Um, and we, um, oh, we're offering free shipping. That's what I was gonna say. So if you order $100 or more of General Finishes products or cleaning on brushes or workshops, um, then you can do, use the code free ship and you'll get free shipping. And we are really fast too. So. Dan ships out very quickly. Um, I see somebody just got their shorty. Isn't it incredible? Like, you know, I, I really thought they were hyped up. I tend to be a little skeptical about those things. And then um, I finally tried it and they're really, really good. So I don't use my old favorite brushes anymore at all. Um, I grabbed one the other day and I was very disappointed in the way it handled. So that kind of showed me Prove to me how good they are. So here, I'm gonna finish up here and then I'm gonna do the top. So, give me one second, or I'll try to move this a little bit. Whoop. Usually I have a nicer platform, but this piece is a little bit odd. So if you're just joining, I am Kelly with Captiva Home, and we are painting a piece with General Finishes Milk Paint. This is emerald mixed with lamp black. And then I don't know exactly what's gonna happen, but if you join me on our page, um, I do a lot of painting live and I do this a lot. Um, so probably Sunday is when I will do the next part of this project, but I'm not positive. Um, but that will happen, oh, sorry. Um, that will happen over on our page at Captiva Home on Facebook. So yes, you do store these brushes in water, which can be a little bit tricky for people sometimes. But the best thing that I've found is actually to stick it in a cup. Let me show you before I forget. This, I think, is the easiest method for regular folks to store the Klingon brushes. So you do wanna store them wet and you wanna have water up to about halfway over the bristles and that way you can suck up the water, pull it back down. Um, it is self-cleaning, so you see how it's a little cloudy down here. That is the brush cleaning itself. And then this just keeps it suspended because if you cover the ferrule with uh, water, that could rust over time. Um, so this, I figure, you know, get a coffee cup. It's otherwise trash. So I think that's the easiest way for most people to do it. Uh, we have a like hanging system thing. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, most people do not need that. So yes, the brushes will live in that water forever. And if you can't maintain the water, then cleaning it really well when you're done and then like letting it do that for like a week or something or a few days and then letting them dry would be the next best option. Um, because I understand if you don't paint a lot, that can be a little cumbersome, but that does keep the brushes really well maintained. So 
keep that in mind. All right. So with this, whenever you have a large flat area, you want to cover the whole thing at once. You don't want to paint over here and then work your way a little bit. You want to do long strokes um, and that will help. You can also add a little bit of water or whatever your solvent is to help extend the paint slightly so it doesn't dry very quickly. Um, but this is an area where you do want to go kind of fast. So, and you want to plan it out. So, I'm going to start at the back. Basically, so that I don't hit myself with the paint on the front. So have you guys used the General Finishes paint before? What's your favorite color? What kind of questions do you have? Um, have they also, they have a whole line of glazes, like the Van Dyke Brown or Pitch Black. Um, there's also a Winter White, and these are all pre-mixed. So you have a consistent glaze color. Um, there's also clear if you want to try mixing your own color of glaze. So that could be fun if you want to have like a pink glaze or a blue or, you know, something a little funkier. Um, these products are all water-based, so they're really easy to use. Um, no VOCs, which just means it doesn't stink and it doesn't hurt you. Um, oh, I'm glad to hear you use a lot of general finishes. So they really are very easy to work with. Yeah, you could roll this um, if you wanted to, absolutely. Um, you can use them on kitchens. I hear people doing that. Um, we have not painted our kitchen yet, although I do want to. Um, but because it self levels, it really helps your paint job look professional. Um, this is the F. I'm oh, sorry, I always say it wrong. S50 Shorty. So yes, it is the Shorty, the one that everyone talks about. Um, it is really their most popular one. Very easy to use. It's about a two inch head. And then they also have, I think it's 17 other styles of Klingons. So like, oh, let me finish this. I'll show you in a second. That would not have been a good spot to break. So let me finish up this and then I'll show you some of these other weird brushes because one of them is really strange. So we were just talking about the shorty. So that is this little guy, um, the F, uh, S50. Um, and then this is a really unique one. So it actually has a angled um, head. So that's really cool. And a lot of people, um, I didn't know what to do with it at first. And then I had a piece where I needed to like get that lip under there. And it's really great for getting into those odd spots. So this is not a brush that you would use all the time, but it's really funky and pretty handy. And then we also have these, um, something like this is just a round one. So those are some of the brushes that we use. Um, we will use, we'll definitely do another coat. So I don't know if you can really tell, but it's not completely covered there. It shouldn't be. Um, with any paint, you should expect to do at least two coats um, because the first coat's really functioning as your base um, and getting you a nice grip on it. And then the second coat is where you're gonna see um, all of the color fill in beautifully and get that solid aspect. So yes, at least two coats, sometimes three, depending on 
what kind of pigments they are. So like reds are typically harder to co cover. Um, whites can be a challenge sometimes, yellows. So some paints and paint colors will take more coats in general. Um, yes, you can use this on kitchen cabinets. Um, I would definitely recommend it. It dries hard, it is durable. Um, with kitchens, of course, there's a whole group dedicated to that and they're phenomenal, um, but prep work is really important with kitchens, no matter what kind of paint you're putting over it. So keep that in mind. Um, yeah, the S50 is fantastic and then having a smaller one can be really handy for those smaller pieces. Um, keep in mind when you're painting, if you have a large flat area, you probably want to use a large flat brush. Um, if I was to tackle this with like this teeny little guy, it would be really hard to get a nice solid um, smooth coverage because the brush size isn't appropriate for this size piece. Um, so that's why having like a two inch head like this is really ideal for a larger area. Um, if you just have like a, you know, a little piece that you're working on, then you could do a little brush. Um, yes, you should also clear coat on your cabinets. That would be the best idea. Um, we do have this stuff. So this is high performance top coat. So this is really a standard. This is such a good product. It's really easy to work with. It's gonna level nicely. Uh, it's durable. You can use it over many different kinds of bases. So you don't have to just use this with General Finishes milk paint. You could use this over like chalky paints or other stuff and it really works out quite nicely. Um, it is water-based, of course. So you could use your Klingon brushes and it cleans up with water. You could spray it, brush it, roll it, whatever you like. So that's pretty cool. Um, let me know what other questions you have. I think that's it for tonight. So I'm gonna go. Um, I hope you have a lovely night. Thank you for joining me. Um, again, I'm Kelly with Captiva Home and I'd love if you come over to our page and like us there. Oh, we also have a free list of all of our favorite stuff in the notes. So check that out. And if you'd like to see the rest of this piece, I'll be doing it probably Sunday night over on our page. So come on over. I'd love to see you and have a great night. Thank you.